What's up everyone? Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the brand new lubes from Angstrom Research, Compound 5 and Compound 10. So obviously this isn't the packaging that they'll come in. This is just the tester samples that they sent out and I just brought a couple home. So I've been using these lubes for the last couple weeks and what I do know is Compound 5 is meant to speed up your puzzles and Compound 10 is meant to make it more controllable. So what I'm gonna do is put Compound 5 in one of my slowest cubes, a Wu Chui M that I lubed probably 10 times, which is crazy slow, and I'm gonna put Compound 10 in a brand new GTS 3, which you may or may not know is extremely fast, and then I'll give you my opinions on both of them. So if you're familiar with lubes that are supposed to speed up your puzzles, the ones that come to mind off the top of my head are Maru and DNM. Now, as you can see, this has a little bit more viscosity than both of those. It looks like there's a little bit of silicone in it, but it is water-based. So I'm pretty curious to see how it will actually work on this Wu Chui, because let me turn this for you. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but this is just a really, really slow puzzle. So I'm gonna put two drops in here, and we'll see if that has any effect on the turning. Definitely doesn't affect my turning but the cube is filling a bit faster. Wow, the middle slices are much faster. And it seems to be working. Now, it's, it might be like Compound 10 where you actually have to use it a while and break it in and get it all over the puzzle, but definitely the middle slices are much faster on this cube, and it's something that I really, really am enjoying the feel of. The main thing about this lube is that it's supposed to retain water even longer than DNM 37. So I don't know if you guys saw those videos we made with the drops on the table and them drying out where it dried out much slower than Maru, DNM 37 did. Well, this is supposed to last even longer. So that's pretty exciting. I haven't tested it yet, but I'm sure we will in the future. And now on to compound 10. Now I do know just from the past couple weeks that I've been using these that this is far and away my favorite lube that we've ever produced at the cubicle. And the reason for that is that I really, really enjoy controllable puzzles. Fast puzzles just do not work for me. I always lock up, mess up my turns. So this loop right here will make any cube completely controllable. Now let me show you what I mean. So this is a brand new GTS-3. Those are actually the first turns on this cube. You can hear it's kind of scratchy. But yeah, it's just on super loose tensions, and you know, it's just right out of the box. Most MoU cubes are crazy fast out of the box, and this one's no exception. So the way this lube works is you put two or three drops in, and then you have to break the cube in because it doesn't work instantly like silicone. It has to spread around the cube. Because the way that it works is it actually attracts to itself to slow the cube down. So if it's not all over the pieces, it won't work. Unlike silicone, where if you put a little bit in on the pieces, it'll just instantly slow the puzzle down. And my favorite thing about this lube is, after you use it and you set your cube down for the night, just go to bed or go to work or whatever you might have to do, and when you come back to it, it's not a gummy mess, like whenever you use silicone-based lubes, because this is water-based. So what I'm gonna do is, it says to put two drops in, but I know from experience that four works for me. So now that I've got the lube in there, I'm just gonna break it in. You can even hear the sound of the cube changing. So this cube could definitely still use some more breaking in and even some setup would benefit this because like you just saw, it's right out of the box, the tensions are uneven, but I'm really happy with the feel that Compound 10 gives your puzzles. And you guys know that I don't normally endorse lubes that much on my channel, but this Compound 10 is easily my favorite lube on the market. So both of these will be releasing at Nats this year at the end of this month. If you're in Salt Lake City, come to the vending booth and we'll let you try them out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and you'll hear from me soon. Later, everyone.